Hello again. This time we're going to uh, go a little bit deeper in terms of our in terms of structuring our queries. Uh, before we studied how to use the select statement, and uh, we studied how to use um, the where clause to have some conditions, and we saw how we can use the uh, comparison operators like e equal sign, greater than, less than, and the rest of them, and we saw the uh, logical and and or, and we saw how we can deal with the null value using the is keyword. Uh, we must have noticed that for the where clause, when I say equal, for example, select something from my table where, for example, team name equals Londoners, we notice that the value Londoners must be mu must be exactly the same. Well, what if we know only a part of that value? For example, what if I know what if I uh, what if I know only part of of that value? For example, what if for example it was Londoners Football Club in Ealing or something like that? Yes. Uh, and then I don't know the first part of the statement, the, the first part of the value, London, Londoners Football Club, but I know that it contains the word Ealing or something like that. Then how can I actually spot that? Well, with the where, with the where uh, uh, clause, that seems to be a bit tricky, or maybe uh, not possible, I'm not sure to be honest, but we can use that using a very nice clause in MySQL, and that clause is called like yeah and the can uh, the syntax of like is very similar to the to close that we can use it with a select statement select field one field two field n from table one table two remember that we can use it even f with more than one table where field one for example like maybe condition one and or or these are in square brackets that means they are optional condition two we can have more one than one condition and just to go back to our tables now let me just use the database uh, teams DB as we did before and then if I show all the tables in this database I can see that I have two tables uh, so if I want to see all the values and one of them just select star from say for example teams DB I'm sorry, not teams, DB, teams, table. Yes. Let's say, for example, I know that one of the team captains is called Joe, but I don't know his surname. How can I search for that? With the where clause, it's difficult, so let's do it with the like clause, yes? So let's say, for example, select from teams table, select star from teams table where the captain name, for example, uh like what do you say Joe Williams for example now the percentage sign the percentage sign is a meta character that means give me anything that has the word Joe or capital J O small O small E in the beginning and the remaining of it I'm um, uh, the, the remaining part of it I'm not interested in that that can be anything Hope that makes I hope that makes sense like a wild card like the star in in in, in Unix or Linux based or Linux uh, systems yeah like a meta character so I'm not interested in the rest of it as long as it starts with J O uh, E let's have a look at what what happens and we'll take it from there and I'm sorry the the column name is team captain rather than captain name I always can make these mistakes and if you see now it actually spotted that that when I gave it the percentage sign as a wild uh, card or as a meta uh, character it spotted that and it brought me back that record in fact even if it was uh, a sing one word so for example I just say uh, uh, select for example select team from team table all the yeah the, the whole record bring me back where team name for example where the team name conta contains uh, for example the letter S yeah 
the letter S in the end so anything that ends with a small s and you can see we have plenty of of results here yeah? or if, if we want the letter s to be somewhere even in the middle of the word we can say percentage s percentage and again we can have more than one i hope that makes sense the like keyword or the like clause is really nice and helpful and really really powerful to make uh, queries i hope that makes sense thanks for watching and i'll see you next time